Good morning, everyone. I'm just in the car, off to the gym. I want to go. <laughs> I'm feeling so lazy. It's um, the first day of school holidays. For those of you that don't know, I'm a teacher, so I teach music. So I'm kind of feeling so lazy. It's the end of school term, so I just want to chill out, but I'm going to go there and we're going to get some work done. Just this morning, my friend tagged me in a Vogue article about what Margot did in preparation for Harley, and it was a lot of cardio, which is not what I usually do. I'm going to show you what I, I do, but there are a few uh, moves, like moves, exercises in the article that I'll show you towards the end that Margot would have done. Hi squad, so before every single workout I do, I always warm up walking on the treadmill for 10 minutes. I use the high incline because that also helps activate the glute muscles. I up the incline by one point every two minutes, so I end up at 11 point incline at the end. Because it's leg day and I do have a bad history of lower back problems, I always do a few stretches just so I'm, I'm protected when I'm doing squats because that's quite straining on your back. This is called an egg roll, which I find very helpful. And then this yoga pose as well. exercise I'm doing for the day is hamstring curls. I've been incorporating this exercise in every single workout I do, not just leg day, because my hamstrings need to grow and I need to work on them. So if I work them out at the very, very beginning, they'll have like applied pressure for the whole workout, if that makes sense. And that helps to really build that muscle. Okay, squat time. So I used to lift really, really heavy, but I just found it was too straining on my lower back and I wasn't getting the results I wanted. So I decreased the weight. So I'm just using a 20 kilogram bar and I do high intensity, like high reps. So I do 10 times a normal squat and then I'll do 10 times with a pulse at the bottom, which really helps to engage the glute muscles, that extra bit and I'll do five sets of this. So it's also good cardio training, I find, for this exercise, which helps cut fat. So here you can see that extra pulse I was talking about. I also just wanted to let you guys know that I am not a personal trainer or anything. This is all quite self-taught. Um, so I'm not an expert and I do know my technique isn't impeccable. But the point is with fitness is to just get out there and have a go. And, and every workout is, you know, an, an achievement. It doesn't matter if you do just the 10 minute treadmill as long as you just get out there. Okay, next exercise I like to do is hip thrusts. This is my all time favorite exercise for glute muscles. As soon as I started doing it, I just instantly felt and saw results. So I use a 30 kilogram easy curl bar and I use a bench for that extra depth. You don't need to use the bench and you don't need to use weights. You can do it on the floor. You can use uh, five kilogram plates, whatever you need to do, you do. But this has taken a lot of time to get to this level. Ok 
Okay squad, so these next few exercises are moves that I read in that article about how Margot prepared for Harley. Apparently she did a lot of side thigh and side glute work and this exercise targets that perfectly. They're called crab walks, so I just picked up a resistance band and you can see me double knotting it around just above my knees. It's very important with this exercise that you don't let your knees wobble. If you tighten the resistance band too tight, you're going to have difficulty keeping your knees apart and if your knees buckle in, this exercise does not work properly. Okay, so this is another exercise that I envision Margot did after reading that article. It's a combination of like cable kickback and arabesque, so I'm not quite sure what to call it. I'm using a very, very light weight and focusing on squeezing that cheek at the very, very top. Make sure you do it evenly on both sides, otherwise you'll be a bit lopsided. Okay, here is another variation of weighted arabesque. I really struggled with this one. My balance is worse than I thought, as you can obviously see. Um, I don't usually incorporate this exercise in my normal routine. This is another Margot exercise. I really battled with the balance, so to help with that, I just went and got an easy curl bar instead of using two dumbbells, and that worked quite well. Okay, back to the Laura exercises now. These are called back extensions and I love to do these at the end of a leg day workout. Uh, they target not only your glutes but your hamstrings and your core. So I find it very helpful, especially with my lower back, just to strengthen that core. I'm using a 10 kilogram plate with these but you can use body weight as well. Okay, abs. Just like how I do a 10 minute treadmill at the very beginning of my workouts, I always finish with an ab exercise at the end, no matter how small or how big it is. So I decided to do these. These are leg raises. So that kind of targets the lower stomach, which I have a lot of trouble with, and I'm sure a lot of other ladies do as well. So that was the workout guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just sitting in my car and I just thought I'd give you a bit of background on my fitness story because I feel like it is relevant. It's such a hard story to tell you guys because I know a lot of you may be experiencing it as well uh, with things to do with body image and it's a really sensitive topic. So yeah. When I was in primary school, I was bullied and a lot of it was to do with my weight. I was a very chubby kid and that wasn't necessarily my fault. I always ate healthy and I went to swimming every week, twice a week. I was very, very good at swimming and I just was a naturally chubby kid. There wasn't really anything I could do about it and I, they would call me names like Piggy and I used to have very hairy arms before I started waxing. They'd call me Ape as well. So. Like, I copped it in primary school, and so that really scarred me for, for life, really, especially about my weight. I'll see if I can put a photo in um, of how I used to look. I was pretty cute. I was really, really cute. So when I went to high school, about when I was 14, I got into some really unhealthy habits, and I was on the treadmill every day. I wasn't eating properly, and I dropped down to 54 kilograms. I'm not quite sure what that converts into pounds, but to give you reference, at the moment, I'm 63 kilograms and I'm five foot nine so 
I got very, very skinny and it wasn't healthy. The way I was doing it was so bad. It was not eating properly and just cardio. It was not good. Then I found a huge passion for rowing, which I just, I did it for six years all throughout high school. I loved it so much. I loved the early mornings, like getting up at 4.30 and training five times, six times a week, the fitness, being on the water. It was just, it really pushed me and I loved it so much. So that got me into healthier habits. This part is kind of, it's really hard to talk about. I won't give too much detail, but when I was 18, I turned 18, I went through heaps of family hardship and relationship issues and financial issues. And it just, seriously, it was the worst year of my life. It cannot get worse compared to that year. And I turned to alcohol. Like, I 100% I admit I turned to alcohol. I would drink five, six times a week to get fully drunk and I put on heaps of weight. It took a lot of self-discipline to get out of that rut that I was in, that drinking and I was smoking cigarettes. It's very bad for you. And it took a lot of discipline to get out of that. I just remember waking up uh, the day after Australia Day, which is a huge day dedicated to drinking. That's what Australia Day is. And just feeling awful. And I just thought, you know what? I'm not gonna let this happen again. So I quit drinking six months sober. I haven't smoked a cigarette since then. This is uh, two years ago now. I ended up going to the gym as an outlet instead. I would dedicate myself to going to the gym preparing healthy meals and I just turned my life around and I couldn't have made a better decision. I honestly could never have made a better decision. I lost 15 kilos and I'm so much healthier, I'm happier. I'll put a photo in so you guys can see my transformation. This photo that I've put up, I'm going to put up, there it is, uh, was nine months and that's the great thing about fitness is that you do see physical changes, which is great, it's excellent, but you also feel happier, all the endorphins, and it just absolutely turned my life around. So don't think of it just as a physical thing, like, oh, I wanna get a big butt, or I wanna tone, or I want a flat stomach. Think about, like, I want to make myself a happier and healthier person inside and out. All right, guys, sorry to end on a kind of downer, um, but I hope you enjoyed my workout video. Let me know what my next video should be. I am so working on a cosplay video. Everyone's been asking, where do you get the costume? Things like that. I have so much stuff in store for you. You have no idea. It's going to be unreal. So watch out for that. That's coming. If you have any other suggestions or you want to see another fitness video, comment below and I will get back to you. Thanks everyone. Oops. Oh, maybe I should stop speeding. Oh my gosh, a leaf just attacked my car. I've got a cute dog. It's like a cavoodle. A cavoodle! Oh my gosh, there's another person. Can people go away?